Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you how to put together a softbox that's inside of your ProMaster continuous lighting kit if you check one out from AV Equipment. And I just wanna preface this video with the fact that I don't lift weights as much as I should. I'm not the strongest person and I will say that outright. You can do it and I'm gonna show you right now. So uh, I have one of the two softbox uh, units that come in your ProMaster kit when you check them out. And when I pull this guy out, I'm gonna notice I have these four beams, which are all um, uh, your main support system to get your softbox together. I also have uh, the actual softbox container, which has a flat uh, out exterior and then the interior is all a really shiny reflective material that's going to be really great for helping to diffuse that light and actually reflect it back out to your subject. And then I have a little bit of diffusion material which is going to soften that, that light on the exterior. You notice this one has the black around it. It's going to kind of fold around the outside of our softbox once we have it done. And I also have additional softening material because we want that really soft creamy light uh, right here. So these are all of my softbox elements. Our one piece of hardware that we need is called a speed ring. And there's a lot of different kinds of speed rings. This one in particular is uh, for these ProMaster lights, but uh, you know, not all speed rings are created equally. So that means not all soft boxes can be used on all kinds of lights. But this is going to be our main structural support that's going to use gravity and a little bit of force of will, as you'll see in a moment, to get this soft box together. So I'm going to get this out of the way. And uh, one thing I want to stress, uh, as I mentioned, the idea of sort of um, <laughs> getting things through with a little bit of force is uh, what you definitely want is to make sure you have a lot of space around you while you're doing this. And um, to make things a little easier, I'm just going to ever so slightly undo some of this material right here. Um, the other thing that I'm gonna want to do is uh, put this with the, uh, the part that sort of juts out with our mounts to the ground. So I'm looking at the red dots that are coming up on the surface there. So what I'm gonna do is find these little pockets inside of the soft box in each of the corners and kind of slowly string that through. And then it's also, as you can see, gonna plug into the speed ring. Now the first one is always the easiest and as you go they get a little bit more complicated, a little bit trickier. But I'm gonna start with a couple that are diagonal from each other so I can really open this up and give my myself a little bit of space to work once I start getting to the more intense one. Again I'm gonna use a little bit of force to weave my metal post into my speed ring. As I mentioned, they're going to get more and more difficult, <laughs> but we got this. When you are really dedicated to a shoot, you make it happen. So I've got three. I have one more. Carefully pull this guy through. Make sure that it's up at my top corner here. Pull it out, and I'm, I'm literally pulling down, I'm pushing down on my speed ring so it stays in place, using the weight of this hand to kind of stabilize everything. And now I have all of my posts inside the soft box. Again, takes a little bit of elbow grease, but be patient, and you can do it. Now that I have the main structure set up, hard part's over, and I'm gonna construct 
my layers of diffusion inside of the soft box. So I'm going to start out with this smaller diffusion material. And this guy just hooks in pretty seamlessly to um, the four little clasps around the outside of the soft box. So I'll fold those in, and this diffusion material is going to get nice and stretched out as that first barrier that the light comes through as it reaches your subject in a portrait shoot. I'm working slower than I need to, only because I don't want to force anything, I don't want to uh, break anything or stretch anything. So that's our first layer of diffusion, sort of hanging out inside of there. It doesn't matter if it's right side up or Backside down, it's the same uh, uniform, even material throughout. This one, it does matter because I need the uh, concave side to be essentially on the outside so that it can wrap around each of the four corners of my softbox. And what's great about this is that there is Velcro material around the outside, so I have that extra layer of stability holding this guy together, so it's not just going to come off randomly in the middle of my shoot. So there you go. That is your ProMaster Continuous Light Softbox. And here we have our speed ring facing out, just how we positioned it, ready to go so it can latch into the light when we're ready to set up.